today is a Friday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. You nope. Yeah, dog. End of the weekend, then uh, next week, short week, holiday, right? Oh, uh, boy. Rip, nice. rip, nip, slip, drip. Like, all the rips. All the ripping. And all dripping. the slipping and dripping. Yep. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. LFG. There's uh, Greg Gorey. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Menace. Hello, Woody. There's uh, Seabass. Yeah. We've got Sammy. Good morning. Bort and Caroline are here. We got Morgan. We got Vaughn. We got the phones open at 877 44 Woody. That's 877 Woody. You're going to need that number coming up a little bit later on in the hour for the DUIQ. That'll be our Friday dumbass contest for your chance to win some stuff. Also got the redneck news story of the year playoffs. It's the Huffin bracket today. Oh, good. <laughs> Need your votes on that. And uh, we're ready to get into these Friday fail stories. And uh, yeah, I've got some uh, pretty interesting ones here for you today. People being extra dumb. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. End of another week in time for your Friday fail story. Oh, yeah. All these people have thought they had the perfect plan, the plan that can never go wrong, but somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega Uber Ultra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the reason nice. for this, Seabass put like some kind of putty. I put silly putty on his goddamn uh-huh. stupid bell. Uh, like you are so triggered by the bell. I don't <laughs> I'm understand. Not tri- yeah, I'm triggered by loud, obnoxious no- radio noise. <laughs> huh, shocking. I didn't say anything. I because I, I put it on when you were out of the studio yesterday. It was like it was a little mm. prank. I, oh, I mm. wanted to say something, but I didn't. Dude, got me. Oh, wow. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. You, you, uh-huh. you, I you said nothing. Mm. He he is like. Then he went extra belly on it. He is he is like a <laughs> child. <laughs> when it comes to this bell, like he does that thing where like he'll stick his fingers in his ears and like squint his eyes as if like a little kid at a fireworks show. It's kind account, of hilarious. I uh-huh. kind of it's obnoxious. This is your reaction. When did you just discover now that? Because I I was waiting for morning. you to hit it. I, oh, wanted, really? I wanted yeah. you not I wanted to, you to do it. Oh, go I like, wanted it to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, now I'm gonna go yeah. extra heavy on it. Oh, okay. oh, oh yeah. nice. Yeah. Like a child. So now because we'll all be on TC. <laughs> yes. You, you just did this to the, to the pettiest person <laughs> in the room. Does your radio hero Howard Stern? Does he have a dumb bell he hits all the time? Uh, yeah, I'm sure he does. He's got one. Yeah, he's got like. In fact, I think it's like a ring bell. You know, like like you see in a boxing ring. I get one of those now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're just going to level up the bell. Yeah, yeah. yeah going to level up. <laughs> you can get the Liberty Bell up in here. And That's it... right. Let's get the Liberty Bell in here. Yeah. All right. So first story. Uh, this is out of Wisconsin where the cops, they were chasing some guys in a stolen car. The driver eventually lost control and crashed, and the four losers inside made a run for it. At least two of them started running through a golf course that was across the street. One of them ducked into a porta potty that was on the course. And that's when a quick thinking golfer saw the dude who went into the porta potty and pushed it over. Uh, nice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, one way to fix that. Here he is talking about it on the, on the local news. There was no thought. I just knew what the right thing was to do, and I did it. Adam uh, tipped it over and heard the sloshing uh, yeah. from the porta potty. It was mm. literally a crappy situation. Oh, get hey! it! Oh, yeah. Here we go. Got Joe. Boom! Nice. Getting. I'm sure the audience yeah. that. So the cops showed up and arrested the guy who was covered in mess. They also got at least two of the other losers, all of them taken to fail jail. Ew. Yeah. Fail. <laughs> See? See something, do something. Caca. Yep. Uh, the manager of a dollar store. He stole $41,000 from the store and then gambled it all away, Rave. Really? Yep. And, so And one million. Apparently <laughs> doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Admitted to depositing the thousands of dollars into their personal bank account instead of the store's bank account, thinking that, uh, you know, just gamble the money and win I'll, big. They would win at least 40 grand. You would to think. repay the store with the winnings, but I that would've. did not happen. That would have been a win win for everybody. Sentenced to five years of felony probation, ordered to repay $43,050 to Ooh. the Dollar General. Oh, so he's not even in jail. No. And, uh, Probation. Wow. Oh, no. They failed to pay it all back. Could be facing a potential sentence of two to seven years That's in prison. That's when the jail kicks in. Yeah. So when I worked at Little Caesars, some managers did that. They, like, took off and went gambling for the weekend, thinking that they could make it back. They ended up yeah. going to jail. And then when they got out of jail, the owner of the Little Caesars, they saw him, like, 
out in the streets and so yeah. they like paintballed his car and then they went back to jail again <laughs> like why are you mad at him oh, so this <laughs> How dare you're you? the <laughs> idiots that stole the money so check it out this uh this happened in new york and this this will not affect and by the way it's a her i'm reading Ooh. yeah it's not going to affect her ability to get a job or an apartment in the future because uh the governor of new york just signed something that seals the records for criminals when they're going for jobs or places to live oh, great yeah. Now it's not for violent things like murder and rape and things, you know, child abuse not or yet. yeah, whatever. Right. But it did say even people with felony, oh, uh, felony, um, you know, fraud or uh, you know, in, so like scams. insurance, yeah, yeah, insurance fraud, fraudsters, money laundering, things like that. Like you're not allowed to like use that whether to make a decision on someone to if hire somebody hire in your them. business. Oh my god, Stupid. that's insane. <laughs> oh my god. And this chick gets five oh, years dumb. probation. I love how that's a punishment. For five years, you can't break the law. Again. Shouldn't we just consider every yes. single person is on probation? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like constantly. What? Hey, yeah. you got five, after five years, you can you can but crime up. But why is this person going to scrounge up 43 grand? Well, I mean, you could you can get 43 grand together. How much time do they have? Five. If it's five years, that's eight grand Over a year. Over a 54-month yeah. period? Uh, they don't sound that talented. Yeah. I mean, look, you could take a pizza <laughs> delivery job. You can't even parlay 40 grand into something? Week. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. the, that's the yeah. problem. That's what I'm getting out of if this. If Woody and I sat down at a table with oh, 41 yeah. grand, it would be gone in what? Oh, 20 yeah. minutes? Yep. Uh, next up from Cape Cod, where this woman got a delivery from FedEx, a bunch of boxes. One of them was oddly heavy, and uh, she didn't know what it was. She wasn't expecting anything. So she opened it up and she found $20,000 worth of lottery scratcher tickets, brand new, oh, unscratched. Okay. Hey. They were all in stacks and wrapped in plastic. Nice. She said she did think about keeping them, but she did the right thing and she called the lottery officials. It turns out they were supposed to go to this liquor store down the street. The FedEx guy delivered them to the wrong address. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Failed. Tempting, sure, but, uh, you know, wouldn't be able to cash did you get the a tickets stack anyway. Of scratchers? Uh-huh. Well, because the stores have to activate each stack before they sell them. Oh, uh, and until that happens, they're worth. It's kind of like stealing gift cards at the grocery uh, store before they're activated. Good to oh, know. Man. Like you have a plastic card. Cool. What are you going to do with that? Right. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner is in the news. Really? Uh, tried to use the word retarded on social media. Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. That's a yes Oh, no. But, uh, but spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh. Wait, ask well, Menace how to spell it. Menace, how do you spell retarded? Uh, it's R E. T A R D E D. Look at that. Oh, okay. Menace yeah. knows how to spell it. Yeah, well, it. I mean, Caitlyn Jenner is the dyslexic like I am. And we have the same birthday. Uh, so apparently, Fascinating. Yeah, it all started so because <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. was uh, complaining that the slur is no longer a big part of our vernacular. And that's when Caitlyn chimed in and responded, I'll say it. Kidding. Retarded. R e t a r t e d. Retarded. Retarded. Uh-huh. Retarded. So yeah. Whoops. Okay. Fail. She says, uh, "Epic, ironic fail." I get it. <laughs> and a good point made. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And right. nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Got it. And uh, finally, <laughs> told you people would be an extra stupid this week. A man in California. He bought a bunch of gold bars in a back alley. Uh-oh. From a man driving an old Honda Civic. He as, found him on Craigslist, of course. Okay, sure, that's where do. I buy my gold. And then he was shocked to learn that the gold bars <laughs> that he paid $21,000 for mm-hmm. were fake. No. 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 Not buying what? it. <laughs> Cops say to be careful when buying things from people online. They say one of the biggest red flags is dealing with a seller who wants to make the exchange in a back alley. <laughs> that might Idiot. be a tip. <laughs> Failed. And, uh, uh, those are your Friday fail stories, everybody. I'm looking right now. Someone's selling a gold bar. <laughs> Dude, people are obsessed with buying gold bars. And they're like, all right. <laughs> they're selling out like crazy from Costco because they're starting to sell them there, too. I thought they just did that like a one run type of thing. And then that was. I that. don't know if they're continuing. Yeah, it, I but... thought that was like a, you know, just like a one off kind of, you know, novelty. But... Get some media these attention these kind of thing. Giant gold bricks. These are like 50 Yeah, grams. little yeah. tiny ones. Yeah. It's because people are on social media are like afraid that um, there's going to be a solar flare and then they yeah. can't get any money. Yeah. Right. And those gold. are the people I hope spend every dime they have on. <laughs> Here's gold, gold bars. bars. Gold Here's bars. a guy with like an old that. blurry yeah. picture. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen grand. Oh hell yeah, oh, I'm okay. going deal. for it. Cool. Yeah, what a deal. Sold. <laughs> yeah.